Hey, sweeties. So I know you're like, Alexis, where are you? I'm in my RV and we renovated it or we're still in the process of renovating it, but we will do it. We're finished with all of the major stuff we have to do. This video, in today's video, it's going to be about RV essentials or, well, my RV essentials. What my essentials are may not be for others. Mommy? It's energy. Yes, baby. It's all done. I want someone else now. Get the remote and click it. The remote right here. Oh. Is it, it, is it on something else? Get the remote. Well, it's got it. Okay. Um. Shoot, I should have wrote this down. I always got to improvise something. I should have wrote this down. Well, let me write it down. I'll get back. Because I thought I had it at the top of my head, and I don't. Hey sweeties, it is the next day and I know I've been kind of procrastinating on making the video and yeah, um, I made the list because I was just going to go off the top of my head, but that was actually harder than I thought. So here it is. So of course, first on my list is solar. We are installing our solar panels next week, which I'm so excited about. The reason why that is big on my, or number one on my list, I would say, is because I plan to do a lot of boondocking and dry camping, so I don't want to really rely on RV parks or anything like that. I mean, I know I will be staying at a few when I, like, when I absolutely have to, but for the most part, my plan is to boondock and be off grid you know just be in nature because just being around or in society you kind of drown in, into society societal ways societal society society's ways i think i just made up a word societal anywho number two on the list is my pure water filter pitcher I plan to stop using water bottles and just purely rely on like a water filter. I um I eventually want to get one of those those Berkey water filter things. I want to get one of those to sell on the counter, but for now that works out pretty good. Number three on the list of my RV essentials is. A water filter for our holes so we just got that too uh it's big it was big on our list and now that we got it kind of feel complete with it because we haven't used it yet but i know it will help out a lot because it filters the water that's being pumped into the rv and we don't have to really worry about any like because i heard a lot of horror stories about the water being different colors and stuff like that so hopefully that helps a lot with like filtering through the RV system. I mean, we're not going to be drinking out of it, the water, but it would be better for us to like wash our dishes and shower with. So, number four on the list is a battery battery power string lights. Um, I have those in my room and in my daughter's room, and I find those like really, really helpful because I don't have to use any electric. Of course, it's battery powered, so. I plan to get some more because I just took down my um, LED lights from up here. They stopped working. So I took them down, but I plan to get like a battery power string light for up here. Yeah. That's my plan. And last but not least, a portable power station. So this is the power station that I use. I bought this from Walmart. Usually, um, I originally bought this as a jump starter for the RV to because 
that time, of course, that the RV wasn't starting. I think our battery is dead. <sighs> we thought a little jump start would work, and it did for the first two times, but then we just realized the battery was just like dead, dead. So we ended up getting a new battery and it fixed the whole problem. It works, charge it. I mean, I need to charge it, but it works with charging little things. Um, I think it power your fan for a little bit, um, charge your laptop any phones tablets stuff like that just like small stuff nothing too big on this but it's been sitting and i gotta charge it this is personally my my personal essential list that i feel like i have to have in order to feel comfortable or fully comfortable living um the way i want to live like off grid boondocking disconnected from the world for a few you know for a little while you know and slowly but surely we're making progress and i'm so excited see like we did some renovations i can't wait to show you guys the video it's gonna be so oh my gosh it's, i didn't know we had this much space until we like totally took out all the carpet and took out the um that couch that was sitting right here it opened up the floor plan like so much it, it looks so much better and i just love it but thank you guys so much for watching um if you're new to my channel welcome my name is alexis and i want to take you on an adventure with me <gasps> maybe i should make that my new intro hey sweeties here we go on an adventure with alexis or something like that We'll figure it out. We'll figure out the kinks. Yeah, I will have another video up with you guys hopefully soon. It's just been so much going on. I know I've been saying that I'm going to upload these days, but have it is just literally like... I was just in here just, you know, getting some stuff done. I just had... I, I was focused. I had a goal and I accomplished that goal. And I have like little details to work out, of course of stuff that I need to do but other than that everything is looking really really good and I'm really satisfied with it especially with it being my first renovation of me doing by myself it's I've learned a lot I did but thank you so much sweeties Mwah! see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe Bye.